life and business can be frustrating at times. We want things to be a certain way. We work hard to get people and things to do what we want, and yet they don't always oblige. Do any of these three things sound familiar? I deserved that promotion and worked harder than they did. I follow all the diets, but nothing changes. I was told after doing everything the customer wanted, we'd get the order. That was two months ago. We've all been there. When you're a little kid, you cry or whine when you don't get what you want. As we get older and that attitude doesn't work as well, we exhibit other forms of acting out. Blame, name calling, even violence. Wayne Dyer said, frustration is a reaction to a situation that is not going the way we want it to. As usual, he was 100% correct. So how do we deal with this energy sapping, emotionally draining and counterproductive emotion? Well, here's four ways I found to help me start to bring it under control. And I hope they help you. One, just stop and pause and breathe deeply for a few minutes. Seems simple enough, but it's the best thing you can do in the moment. Then step away. You need to break the chain and the frustration momentum you're building inside yourself. Two, think about what you are trying to accomplish. Are you expecting too much too quickly? Give yourself a break and look at the results that you want. Think about other ways to get there. And number three, journal about the frustrating issue. First, get it all out on paper. No editing. The act of simply writing it down will help you clear your mind. Then brainstorm other ideas to help you get through or around your frustrations. And of course, bring in our old friend gratitude. Being grateful for what you have already is a cure by itself. When we really appreciate where we are in life and what we have, our frustrations start to melt away. So here's your action item omission should you decide to accept it. Something frustrating you? Does it get you crazier than a cat chasing a laser pointer? If so, try the ideas I suggested. You'll be no worse off and you may find the path you are looking for. Being frustrated is bad for both our physical and emotional health. Derail this one emotion and free yourself to continue being your best self. Please share this if you think others would benefit from releasing the grip of frustration. Remember, one hand washes the other and together they get clean. Thank you for reading and watching. Have a really rewarding week and I'll see you next time. If you're watching this on YouTube, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. With just a couple of clicks, you could be helping thousands of people. Thank you.